but just that on its own allows me to charge my laptop, plug in the monitor, the interfaces, and my hard drives all in one, have it come into this convenient little neat one cable, and it makes my life feel so good. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to the channel, Chris here, and in today's video, I'm gonna be breaking down the studio. Let's go. Ta -da! So you've seen it in a couple of videos. <laughs> You've seen it in all the videos. <laughs> but I thought it's maybe about time to kind of break down the setup I'm rocking here. I'm very proud of kind of how far it's come so far. It's It's been a work in progress. I can maybe show you like a couple of screenshots of all the previous setups before this. It's just basically just variations on different tabletop bedroom setups. And you know, this is kind of the biggest bedroom setup I've got going. So uh, I'm very proud of that. But to kick us all off, this is the studio, this is where I make all of my music, this is where I do all of my videos, this is also where I sleep. <laughs> it's a combination of everything. So starting us off with the main furniture of the room, this is the output platform desk. Very big fan of this desk. I just picked it up relatively recently off my, my main man Jack Duxbury, so thanks again for that bro. This is supporting a lot of pieces of gear right now. So we've got, starting us off, the interface, we're running the Universal Audio, Apollo Twin, as well as the 8P, and then there's also the satellite tucked in there just to give us some extra DSP, which is fantastic. These are my main kind of sources of input and output to the studio. Obviously on the back of here I've got this microphone plugged in, I've got a guitar mic uh, on the amp that's plugged in, and then there's a spare guitar mic waiting for me to plug it in. On the back of the interface, I'm just rocking. Basically, these synths are plugged in to a patch bay, which is plugged into the back of the interface. And I've also got my vinyl pair down here. And that's also plugged into the patch bay, which goes into this Clark Technic DI box, goes back into the interface at full fat volume. Sweet. So we've got two cables coming out the headphone inputs on the front of the Apollo 8P, one of which is going to this Art Accessories headphone amp, which is just a four channel headphone preamp to give me a couple more inputs from the one input, as well as giving me a lot more volume to, to boost into these headphones because they need quite a bit of volume. So there's that. The second cable is just going into my Zoom H6 here, and that's recording all of the sound from the DAW and stuff. And I've got a separate cable coming out of here that's just recording my microphone separately. So got two channels, very nice. Obviously there is the Zoom H6 that records all the audio for these videos. Obviously I'm running through this interface, but to have the software and record at the same time, is a big no-no. Don't do it. No, don't do it. So lovely. That is recording the sound of the laptop. The sound actually coming out of the laptop is going into a DI before it goes into the zoom. That's just helping with some ground hum that I was having. And besides that, I got tucked away my little universal audio satellite. Again, that's just giving me a little bit of processing power. No sound actually goes in and out of it, but just when I'm using the plugins, it gives me a little bit more headroom on how many plugins I can actually use on a mix, which is fantastic. Moving over to this side of the table, I'll take this off real quick. So moving over to this side of the table, we've got the Micro Korg and the Yamaha Reface CS, both since I'm a big fan of this Micro Korg I've had for probably about 10 years now. Love this synth. I've got them both hooked up to my Innovation SL Mark III. And so I've got two kind of channels. One is the Reface channel, one is the Micro Korg. So that's the Micro Korg. If I go into the patch bay and just plug any one of these, we've got the Reface. Got to pick the correct uh, preset and now we've got the reface <laughs> lovely so i've got those two cents kind of on quick access underneath those i've got the stanton st150 final player <laughs> lovely i'll try avoid getting uh, copyrighted for that and then just a couple of vinyls that live under there which is very nice as well as the all important uh shaker set <laughs> We've got the shaker set. So speakers are running the Dynaudio BM5's Mark III. Fantastic speakers. They were the first pair I bought when I moved to the UK and I've never looked back. They are probably my favorite sounding speakers. I really, I really enjoy them and they just sound great. They, they, do, the, they do what they do. <laughs> but as well as that, I've got a little Aventone, a uh, little mono uh, speaker just there to reference my mixes because I'm in a pretty untreated room, which is not great. 
So at least having that and some headphones, I've got a couple of things to reference on and just make sure I'm sitting in the right ballpark. Sat in between the two speakers, I've got my Apple monitor. This is a an old school monitor that I got second hand once. It was crazy. I had to walk it all the way home from the shop and it's a 27 inch Thunderbolt monitor. But I remember I got it for a steal and it's really tied the studio together because it's just got a bunch of convenient like Thunderbolt 2 stuff on the back, which really, you know, implements well with the setup. But to help with all of this connectivity, because I'm not sure if you noticed, but every time I'm running these videos, it's all kind of going through one cable. That's all my laptop's plugged into and it's got power, it's got display sound, I've got two lacy hard drives plugged in. So this is all coming into one cable, which is fantastic, but that's only possible due to my Cal Digit um, hub. I don't know what it's called, let's see. It's Element maybe? It's a new one that they came out with recently. It's got three USB-Cs on the back and then four USB-As, I guess, just a normal USB on the front. But just that on its own allows me to charge my laptop plug in the monitor, the interfaces, and my hard drives all in one, have it come into this convenient little neat one cable, and it makes my life feel so good. <laughs> Around the back here, ugh, we've got this bad boy, the Fender, what is it, the Blues? Blues Deluxe. Okay, we've got the Fender Blues Deluxe. Again, uh, when I was working at Andertons, it was an amp I picked up secondhand that was a bit of a steal, and I'm super happy that I've I've got it because having a physical amp in the room really brings something that sometimes the digital plugins don't. So I really love to have that option there. Even just to jam, you know, just to have some music in, in the room without needing a computer is, is wonderful. So I'm running that and my guitar is this lovely GNL American Fullerton. Let me grab that. This little bad boy and you know, I've had it for a few years now. I'm a real big fan of this. It just plays so lovely. It's a real, you know, really sorts me out. It's a lovely kind of Strat style guitar and it just does the job. Um, around the back here, you're probably seeing some sweeps. I've got my Townsend Sphere, I guess currently known as the Universal Audio Sphere uh, after they've picked them up. But this is the old school one and equally does a good enough job for me. Really saves me unplugging and plugging in a bunch of mics. And if you haven't already seen, I've done a, a video on the console where I break it down slightly, but I'll be doing a more in-depth video soon. So stay tuned for that. And last but not least, I'm filming all this on my Sony a7S II. Again, a camera I've had for quite a few years now and it's done me wonders. I'm very fortunate to be able to use it for these videos, but I know some people have been asking. So that's what I'm filming on. But that's the majority of the studio, I'd say. I mean, there's a wardrobe full of like <laughs> melodicas, ukuleles, mics and a bunch of stuff but I think that we will save for another day when I've actually got the room to show it off. That's it basically for the, the studio rig rundown. You know me, I love a bit of gear talk so I'm happy that I got to show this off to you guys so please let me know in the comment section below what you think if you had any suggestions because I'd love to hear your thoughts and don't forget to like and subscribe. The support really helps the channel and once again I've been Chris Vella and I'll catch you on the next one. See ya!